Hi there, Raiden. Our lesson for today is Equation of a Circle. But before I begin with my lecture, I'd like you to click the subscribe button for you to get notified whenever I upload new lecture videos. Now, for us to derive an equation of a circle, we can make use of the distance formula. This is implied by the definition of a circle itself. Remember that a circle is a set of points on a plane which are equidistant from a fixed point and that fixed point is called as the center. So if we're going to consider the circle at the right here with center C and the coordinates are HK and then R which is the radius with point on a circle defined by point P here with coordinates X, Y. Solving for the distance of R gives us R equals square root on quantity X minus H squared plus quantity Y minus K squared. Squaring both sides of the equation, we have R squared equals quantity X minus H squared plus quantity Y minus K squared. So we have quantity x minus h squared plus quantity y minus k squared equals r squared. So this is the equation of a circle and this is called as the center radius form of equation of a circle such that the coordinates of the center is hk while R is the radius. Now, we define a unit circle class with radius equal to 1 and the center of the circle located at the origin. Now, for, if we're going to identify the equation of a unit circle, so what would be... um its equation in center radius form. So take note that the coordinates of the center of a unit circle is 0, 0. Now, with the equation of a, of a circle in center radius form, quantity x minus h squared plus quantity y minus k squared equals r squared. Since h and k equals 0, then we'll come up with x squared plus y squared equals 1 squared or equals 1 as the equation of the unit circle. Now, in number 2, we're going to identify the coordinates of the center of the circle and find the equation represented by the circle. So, it's necessary that we should know the coordinates of the center as well as the value of the radius. Now, by inspection, the coordinates of the center of this circle is at negative 3, 3. Solving on R is selecting any points on the circle and calculate the distance from the center. So, for example, if we're going to consider the point here, so we have, or the point here, so the coordinates of this point are at, we have 1, 2, 3. So we have 3 and then 2. So we have 3 here and then 1, 2, 3. So we have 3, 3 here. So if we have, if we assign this as point P, so P with coordinates 3, 3. So R equals square root on 3 minus negative 3 is 3 plus 3 quantity squared. Then plus 3 minus 3 quantity squared. 
So R equals square root of 36, which is equal to 6 units. So R is now equal to 6. We have the coordinates of the center. So substituting the value in the center radius form. We have quantity x plus 3 squared plus quantity y minus 3 squared equals 36. So this is now the equation of this circle in center radius form. Now, aside from the center radius form of the equation of a circle, there is another form which is commonly used. So this is known as the general form of the equation because like its linear equation counterpart, all the terms of the equation are expanded and written on the left side with only a zero on the right hand side where all uppercase variables represent real numbers A, B, which are equal and non-zero. So this is the general form of the equation of the circle. So find the center and the radius of the circle of x squared plus y squared plus 10x minus 2y minus 6 equals 0. So the equation class is expressed in general form. So what we're going to do is to convert this into center radius form. So by inspection, we will be able to identify the coordinates of the center as well as the radius. So how do we do this? We will group the expressions according to common variable and place the constant term on the right side of the equation. So we have x squared plus 10x plus y squared minus 2y equals 6. Now we're going to think of a value when added to each group here will result to a perfect square trinomial. So how do we do that? So what we're going to do is to divide the coefficient of x here by 2 and then square. So when 10 divided by 2, it's 5 and then squared 25. So we're going to add 25 on this group. While on the next group, so we will divide negative 2 by 2. So that's negative 1 squared. So that's 1. So we're going to add 1 on the second group. Now, whatever value we added on the left side, it has to be done on the other side to retain the equality. So we have 6 plus 25 plus 1. So simplifying the expression. Now, each group here is a perfect square trinomial. And we know that the factors of a perfect square trinomial is the square of a binomial. So the factors of this perfect square trinomial is the square root of this x squared plus the square root of the last term 25. So we have quantity x plus 5 squared plus quantity y minus 1 squared equals the sum of the right side. So this is 25 plus 1. So this is 26 plus 6. So we have 32. Now, this equation is already in the center radius form. By inspection, we know that the coordinates of the center is at negative 5, 1, while the radius is equal to square root of 32 because r squared equals 32. So extracting the square root of both sides, that gives us r equals square root of 32. In its simplest form, this is 4 square root of 2. 
So, given the equation of a circle in the general form and we are asked to work on the coordinates of the center as well as the radius, so we have to convert that general form to the center radius form. Write the general form equation of the circle whose center is at negative 1, negative 2, and whose radius is 4. So we can express that first into center radius form. So with center at negative 1, negative 2, and radius equal to 4, we'll come up here with quantity x plus 1 squared plus quantity y plus 2 squared equals 4 squared. Now, expanding the binomial on the left side and placing everything on the left-hand side of the equation and equate that to 0, simplify the expression so we'll come up with the general form of equation of the circle. So, expanding this binomial, we have x squared plus 2x plus 1, this y squared plus 4y plus 4 minus 16 equals 0. Then we have x squared and then followed by y squared and then plus 2x plus 4y and then combine all the constant terms 1 and then plus 4 here minus 16. So this is 5 minus 16. So we have negative 11 equals 0. So this one is the equation of the circle in the general form. Find the center and the radius of the circle defined by this equation. So again, we're going to convert this to center radius form. So we're going to group the left side of the equation according to common variable and then place the constant term on the right side of the equation. So we have x squared plus 4x plus y squared minus 6y equals 3. Again, think of an expression, for instance, when added to this first group, will come up with a perfect square trinomial. And that is done by dividing the coefficient of x here by 2, and then we'll square. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, and then square is 4. So we have x squared plus 4x plus 4. And then we are with the other group, negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 squared is 9. So we have y squared minus 6y plus 9. So whatever we added on the left side, it has to be added on the other side as well. So we have plus 4 and then plus 9 here. Now we are going to work on the factors of each quadratic tri uh, perfect square trinomial. So the factors of this are the square of x plus 2 plus quantity y minus 3 squared equals the sum of the right side. So this is 7 plus 9, so gives us 16. So we know that by inspection, the coordinate of the center is at negative 2, 3. And r squared there equals 16. So therefore, upon extracting the square root, r equals 4. So we were able to come up with the coordinates of the center as well as the radius. Given the center of the circle and the length of the radius, calculate the equation in general form or derive the equation in general form. So we will just substitute the coordinates of the center and the radius to the center radius form. So we have quantity x minus 2 squared plus quantity y plus 1 squared equals 5 squared. 
and then expand the binomial. So this is x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus y squared plus 2y plus 4. And then transpose 5 squared on the left side. So this is minus 25 equals 0. And then arrange, combine the constant term. So we have x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 2y. And then combine the constant terms 4 and then um, this one. So this should be 1 instead. 1 and then plus negative 25. So 4 plus 1 is 5 minus 25. So this is minus 20 equals 0. So this is now the equation in general form. Okay, so substitute this to the center radius formula. So we have quantity x minus 5 squared plus quantity y plus 3 squared equals 2 squared. And then expand each binomial on the left side. So we have x squared minus 10x plus 25. We have y squared plus 6y plus 9. And then minus square of minus 2 squared. So this is minus 4 equals 0. And then arrange them. Combine the constant terms. So we have x squared plus y squared minus 10x plus 6y. And then combine 25, 9, and negative 4. So we have 25 and 9 equals 34 minus 4. So we have plus... 30 equals 0. So this is the equation. And then for number 3, substitute the coordinates of the center and then the radius. So the center radius form. So this is quantity x plus 2 squared plus quantity y minus 2 squared equals 4 squared. So we have to expand this binomial. So this is x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus y squared minus 4y plus 4 minus the square of 60 the 4 so this is 16 arrange them accordingly so this is x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 4y and then combine the constant terms so 4 plus 4 is 8 minus 16 so this is negative 8 equals 0 so this is the equation So converting the general form of equation of a circle to the center radius form is done by grouping the grouping the expressions on the left side according to variables and then make each group a perfect square trinomial and then factor. So we'll, we will be leading to the center radius form. So on the other hand, converting center radius form equation to the general form is done by expanding the binomials on the left side and then placing everything on the left side, combine like terms, simplify. So that's how we convert center radius to the general form. So that's it for now, grade 10.